You think I was born with eyebrows? No. I draw these babies on every morning. <laughs> like, I go home, I take off all this makeup. I'm actually just a 12 year old white boy. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm Asian and I'm a woman in comedy. Crazy, I know. Do I only tell period jokes? Maybe. Um, but it's kind of fun actually being an Asian American woman comedian. Like, there's not many of us, so I get to sit down today and talk to two of the hardest working comedians, Jenny Yang and Otsuko, who are also the co-founders of Disoriented Comedy, which is the first ever touring comedy group that features all Asian American, female identified comedians. And we get to talk today kind of what it means to be a woman in comedy, uh, what it means to be Asian American in comedy, also all those things mixed up together, what it means to be people, and we'll see what happens, let's go. So we know there are not very many visible Asian comics, but there are even fewer visible female Asian comics. Though as I've gotten more involved in the scene, I've met so many funny and powerful women, including two of my favorite people, Jenny and Atsuko. They're doing some very important work in the community, including being founders of the popular Disoriented Comedy Tour. Today, I got to meet up with them at the Japanese American National Museum in Little Tokyo. So this is so cool. This is where they did their comedy comedy festival. It's awesome that Jenny and Atsuko are letting me kind of see the venue and everything in the Japanese American Museum. Good. There's uh, there's Jenny. She's hanging from the side of the uh, very dangerous railings. I think she hasn't left since the festival, so it's good to know she got attached. And there's Atsuko taking a picture of her for the internet people. Oh, you don't look funny, but you're mm -hmm. funny, so I'm so impressed or something. Mm. Like that. that was sweet, but that was a little. Yeah, back in compliment. Yeah. So, when what made you guys get started in comedy? Like, as Asian women, I feel like we don't see many of ourselves out there. We we met in a class, and we were the only Asians in it. So, for me to find this class that's like all women, I felt like, oh, maybe that would kind of provide more of a supportive atmosphere, and it did. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it felt more chill, you know? Because cool. I feel like when we grow up as little girls, we're never we're never rewarded for being funny or outspoken uh -huh. yeah, yeah. or having opinions. Uh -huh. You know, everyone rewards us for looking uh -huh. cute or pretty or demure, you know, or shy uh -huh. or quiet, you know? And, and it's like, you know, we're not, as women, we're not told to take up as much space, right? Whether it's yeah. sound-wise, yeah. physically, or anything. Yeah. To do a, a female, all-female comedy class, it was very liberating to just be like, oh, I don't have to worry about these other expectations that we usually have to worry about. We could just focus on the funny. Yeah, I think, I mean, it just takes time, right? I mean, I feel like Asians haven't been in this country for as long as some of the other minorities, and they're finally getting their chance, so I feel like we're coming up on it. If you're a woman, you have to decide for yourself, how can you communicate what you're saying and be heard, right? right. And that, that comes in different ways, like, um, Usually, the, the is we're told don't dress in a way that will highlight your body, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, dress down your body so that that's not a distraction, mm -hmm. so yeah. that the man ears will listen to you, <laughs> or else they'll be preoccupied with your lady lumps. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's I mean, I, that's something that like I feel like. Women get told all the time, it's like, oh, I couldn't hear anything you were saying because you were wearing that dress. It's like, what? <laughs> like, so, like, what? The, your eyes and your ears are different organs of your body. Right. <laughs> sound waves, like, yeah, it's sound like waves are still hitting your eardrum. Right, yeah. Well, yeah but for very, the first few yeah. jokes, they're uh -huh. trying to figure out if they want to take you out or not. Yeah, which is awesome. Awesome. Should I hit on her? Yeah. Is she yeah. single? I think it's just a huge assumption of what Asians can be funny at. So it's just like the category of like, you can be really funny if you're the new right. foreign kid at school mm -hmm. and you say mm -hmm. words in a weird accent, you know, and you can be funny if you're like the nosy, like bad Asian driver lady that's screaming, like the landlord lady kind of stereotype. So those roles are sort of ingrained and have sort of yet to be expanded on. For all women's shows and also like the disoriented comedy tour that you guys started, like how does that differ from like the typical shows where maybe you're the only Asian female on the lineup. I mean, it sort of just starts feeling normal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, it's how it should be that, you know, no one feels like when they're going up on stage that they're the token, whatever. Mm -hmm. When we do our disoriented comedy shows, they tend to be um, mostly Asian American. Mm -hmm. And these are people that don't typically go to live comedy shows. Yeah. You know, yeah. sometimes we like to like ask an audience, how many of you been to live comedy? Oh, and right. it's like a handful of people. Yeah. So when we do our disoriented comedy shows, 
we're like, listen, not that we won't challenge you because comedy is often challenging, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you know, this is a space where you'll probably have a lot more understanding from the stage, mm -hmm. you know, and maybe you'll be able to connect more with our experiences, whether you're a guy or a girl or whatever, you know, sexuality. Like, we're mostly all Asian American, and so there's something that we're gonna bring to the table that you might connect with that usually you don't see. Yeah. on a typical stage. I guess it was like a moment of realization uh, when Fresh Off the Boat came out and uh, it had been 20 years since the last uh, sitcom yeah. based around an All Asian American family girl. with Margaret Cho. Yeah. And I'm like, really? It took 20 years? Like, get your shit together. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can I say shit? Uh, Jenny and Otsuko, amazing women, actually working so hard to be not only Asian American women in comedy and making a statement there, but also just like pulling things together, pulling comedians together, giving us a stage to voice our opinions. It's just so cool that they're actually working 100%, 100%, 200% at it. So make sure to check them out at disorientedcomedy.com. Make sure you let us know what you think about Asian American women in comedy in the comments. Uh, I'm Sierra, I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you for coming. Oh, thank you. This yeah, is so come great. on. Take my shoes off. Oh, thank you. Can I just put my butt in it? Oh my god.